Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, mind the M9 ultrasound machine. Uh, how to get different echocardiography measurements? Uh, presented by Ahmed Shami, MBVCH, Kasralini Medical School, Nine Medical Company, Application Specialist. Uh, we will talk uh, about uh, the most common measurements uh, on echocardiography, uh, like pressure gradient, mean pressure gradient, uh, VTI, and pressure half time. Uh, for example, we will start with mitral valve. After you get uh, your wave, uh, you have to, uh, if you want to measure pressure gradient, you have to press caliber. Once you put your cursor here, you will uh, get the pressure gradient. If you want to measure mean pressure gradient, uh, uh, maximum pressure gradient, and the mitral valve VTI, you have to press measure. Then you have to choose mitral valve, mitral valve area VTI. Uh, uh, manual or automatic then you will start from the beginning of the wave uh, after it end here after that you will get a uh, uh, maximum pressure gradient a mean pressure gradient and, my, and mitral valve VTI we have also uh, velocity Vmax and the, uh, and the Vmean uh, if you want to measure if you want to measure uh, mitral valve pressure half time uh, you have to choose also measure then you have to choose mitral valve mitral valve pressure half time you will start from uh, the peak of the wave and go with, with its slope you will get uh, you will get mitral valve pressure half time uh, uh, how to measure addition fraction uh, by Simpson by M mode by O2 ejection fraction uh, first we will start with Simpson you have to get uh, epical 2 chamber or epical 4 chamber uh, you have to press measure then you will choose ejection fraction symptom epical 2 or epical 4 according to uh, your uh, view we have epical 2 we will start from epical uh, 2 uh, diastole uh, uh, then you have to start uh, from uh, 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 here we have to race you have to start from here and we will complete your uh, measurements till here you will get uh, uh, like this then uh, the machine will automatically transfer to the uh, uh, epical 2 chamber tool you have to change this view you can change this, this view from here we have on the screen on the left uh, lower uh, adjust frame you can change a frame from this button on the keyboard uh, then you will uh, measure again from here and till here you will get ejection fraction by simple we can do this on epical uh, 4 chamber also uh, how to measure ejection fraction by M mode after you got your M mode uh, image you have to press uh, measure after that you will go uh, you, we will start from uh, enter ventricular system diastole we will measure the uh, the septum then we will measure the posterior wall uh, after that you have to choose also uh, the systole enter with the septum systole we will measure the septum in the stool and the posterior wall also in the stool we will got ejection fraction by m uh, uh, how to measure ejection fraction o to ejection fraction uh, uh, your ECG cable should be connected and you have to save any uh, while your ECG cable uh, was connected after that you just uh, have to press the auto ejection fraction the machine will automatically measure uh, ejection fraction uh, how to get to doubler and the its measurement uh, we will choose the two doubler button. Then we will have uh, we will choose the power the pulsed wave. Uh, we can put it medially or laterally. Here we put, we put it medially. We will got the wave and we have to measure. We will choose the measure. Then uh, the two doubler image. Then we will have uh, mitral valve area medially or mit e, 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 mitral valve E and E dash medially. Uh, if we bought it laterally, we have to measure it from here, mitral valve area E and E laterally. Uh, how to get an anatomical M mode? Uh, once you press your, uh, once you press the M mode, you will get this line, uh, and also you will have on the screen three extras. You have to put the, uh, you have to press the cursor button, then you will choose three extras M mode. 
then you can change the angle of this line from uh, uh, the angle button or you can uh, change the side of this line from the uh, track pole.